sport's been something of a muse of ours for maybe 15 years or more. We've been using various aspects of this multifaceted idea in order to create our projects, and so it felt like a very natural fit. If you look at the images at the back of the newspapers, it's about showing action, movement, the moment of joy, elation, sadness, some critical moment in a competition. And what we're trying to do most of the time is the exact opposite. We're trying to breathe stillness into exertion. Athletes themselves are perfect models, you know. They will do everything correct this instant. They really have that quality, innate quality. The prowess, the beauty, the strength, the physique, you know, everything is there. The fact that we were asked to do administrators as well as athletes was something that intrigued us. We've spent a lot of time in training halls around the world over the last 15 years and we know that the support structure can often be pinpointed on one individual who was stubborn enough to make it happen. Those people behind the scenes are absolutely crucial. We did our first exhibition in Malaysia and uh, the director of the National Art Gallery of Malaysia approached us, you know, uh, us being from both Commonwealth countries, my origin from Malaysia and Jonathan from UK, was appropriate you know, contribution for the Commonwealth Games. At that time, there were very few fine art photographers that embark on the sports or athleticism, fine arts you know, uh, aspects. So we thought, let's try to achieve that. When we first started working with them in training halls and looking at that daily ritual, we were truly in awe of them. They're, they are the most inspiring people in some ways. And just to see that de dedication, that single-mindedness, it's, it's really very special. And we felt privileged right from the start to be allowed in to that environment. One project that's going to be released this year, um, which we're very excited about and is separate from the National Portrait Gallery, is a truly unique body of work we've shot with the elite Chinese gymnasts in Beijing. We are genuinely the first people to be allowed in there and to be allowed to run around for weeks at a time photographing with them. If you compare them with British athletes, they're obviously different points on the same line. The same vocabulary, the same language, the same grammar and syntax exists in the sport wherever you are. But we've never seen training like we saw in Beijing. It was phenomenal, so inspiring. What we're trying to do is find some essence, some aspect of the situation of their character and bring that out, trying to distill it, if you like. What we're interested in is not really realism as such or naturalism. We're interested in truth, trying to find a way that an image can say more. We had a very fortunate privilege to gain insight of how these athletes you know, train and strive for their sporting dreams. And through that knowledge, you know, we're able to siphon things that we want to present in an image. Hence, that's why we request that we photograph them in places of training, within the landscape, how they're molded. We didn't want to abstract them, take them out of their environment. We wanted to work with them in their environment. Our experience is that training halls and locations really influence how an athlete works, how they think, how they function, how they train. We were trying to look at the interaction between the people and this environment in which they're training on a daily basis and watching how they affect each other. We try not to analyse too much how it is that we manage to work together and why it's effective. People have told us that when we're on photo shoots we dovetail quite seamlessly, but we're truly not aware of doing so. We really are a bit nervous of analysing the process too much. We arrive onto a location, we'll scout a place you know, for the first few minutes and through our experience we'll kind of signal out the place of where we want to do the shot. We kind of like to do a recce of where we're going to, but a lot of time we like the spontaneity. For example, the hockey girls, we spoke to Alex Danson. She took us to a place where she actually occasionally go and rest. We created this tableau of all the girls and through that we kind of guide them to certain position um, and what we normally ask them is, you know, uh, express this warrior-like, you know, this regal presentation, you know. They're not just powerful and prowess, they have a sense of sensuality. I hope it shows in, in the image. With the gymnastic shot, we kind of started out with the key elements of photographing these girls within the gymnasium. So portraits of each individual against with the element of the apparatus, you know, kind of the way they melt into these, these apparatus, you know. But then we came across, just by chance, this wall which is so um, it's like something that harks back into the 30s or 40s or 50s because there's some, something so timeless about it. 
the pink palettes and the purple colors are just totally blended, you know. It was very girly color, stillness, quietness, and again, you know, capturing these girls, despite their priorness, they are actually really beautiful girls too. As Brian Griffin said, you know, um, being a fan of photography is a roller coaster, you know, by good times, bad times. But what I really enjoy is that, you know, it's something we wouldn't change in the world. It's, you know, the creative we have, you know, the friendship we born with our patrons, with our institution, with the cities, you know, and we create so many friendships. We just want this to continue forever. Yep. For us, the journey is genuinely as important as the work we're making. So um, I guess maybe that's why we're still on really good terms with loads of people we've photographed over the years. It's clearly a very, very good time for us. We feel we're growing as artists and it's, it's a wonderful time.